I knew she was watching me before I glanced up. I could feel the waves of animosity, sheer negative energy radiating down toward me from the window two stories above. My fingers twitched inside the pocket of my jacket, itching to draw a face I had not yet seen. I balled my fingers into a fist and calmed them with my familiar mantra, Patience now, art will follow. I bounced on the balls of my feet, trying in vain to keep warm as I stood outside on the sidewalk. On general principle, I'd refuse to break out my winter coat in early October. I was still mourning the warmth of summer. As a result, I was now freezing my ass off. I yanked the collar of my sweater up to my chin and watched my breath turn to damp, swirling clouds around my head. A smart, two-door sports car rolled up beside me and slipped deftly into a very narrow parking space. A short, harried-looking woman jumped out. I watched as she shut the car door with her foot while hastily twisting her hair into a messy bun. Are you Jessica? she asked. Yes. Tanya? Nice to meet you. I said, holding out a hand. Tanya was so preoccupied with trying to extract a set of keys from her pocket that she didn't notice my offer of a handshake. After a few awkward seconds, I lowered my hand and thrust it back into my pocket, where it could at least stay warm. So, um, this is it, obviously, said Tanya, gesturing vaguely over her shoulder at the house. It was one of the boxy old colonials which crowded the historic district of Salem. The houses stood shoulder to shoulder along the block as if they were all vying for position. A tiny, grassless strip of yard stood before each, adding even more uniformity. The house looked stately from across the street, but up close I could see that its yellow paint was starting to peel, and its windows looked warped in their black shuttered frames. A tarnished plaque next to the front door read, The Samuel Harner House, 1704. It looks really cool, I said truthfully. I'm a sucker for historic houses. Yeah, me too, Tanya replied, although she sounded rueful rather than enthusiastic. That's why I bought it in the first place. She thrust a sheaf of papers at me. These are all the details about the apartment, which you might have seen online. Is that how you found it? Yes, I said, but I didn't look at the papers. A movement had caught my eye. A lacy white curtain was fluttering in a high window above. It's the third floor unit, <laughs> although, and she laughed a little hysterically, I can now offer you the first or second floor as well, if either would suit you better. No, no, the third floor is fine, I said, smiling at her. I'd rather not have the noise of upstairs neighbors. Although, neighbors might not be the trouble, I added in a whisper to myself. The curtain above us twitched again.